Today we're looking at two updates to Google Sites that are going to streamline your websites. Welcome to another flipped classroom tutorial. Now the first thing we're looking at, and you can see I'm in a Google site right now, is that you can now add footers to your pages. So we're going to scroll all the way down, hover to the bottom of a page, and you will see that there is a add footer. So I'm going to add a quick footer there, and I'm going to just say copyright edgeflip.net, which is my website and the blog. There we go. And this is now a footer that has been added to this page. Now, when you look at the preview of this page, I'm going to look at the preview here and scroll all the way down. You will see that there is a professional looking footer down there. This is the first new functionality. Now, obviously, because you have different pages, you can scroll to any of the other pages and you can do exactly the same thing. You can go down and you can make this footer a hidden footer or you can edit it. Now, if you edit this footer, it will be changed for every page where the footer is shown. So you can either hide it or show it. There is no option yet to have an individual footer or depending on separate pages. Now, let's move on to our second very powerful update to Google Sites. Now, on my upcoming page, there are some upcoming workshops and I'm going to add a Twitter feed down below. Now, the way that you can do that is simply double click and you're going to go to embed. Now, previously we already had the buy URL option, but now we can also embed a code. And this is where you are going to paste any HTML code from any website that allows you to embed their code. Now I'm going to use a Twitter feed. So let's go ahead and hop onto my Twitter. Let's go into the profile, simply go to settings and privacy. We're going to scroll down and find the widgets part. And we're going to create a new widget. Now this is going to be a profile widget because I want to display all the tweets from my profile. Now the way this works on Twitter is we're going to simply type at and then my Twitter name, which is at SDC Thailand, which again, you can find on Twitter. We're going to click on next and I'm going to select this first embedded timeline display option. Oh, there we go. Now you can customize this, which means that you can change the height and the width, even the colors. You can choose a dark or a light color of your feed. Now I'm going to use it as it is. Click on copy code. This has now been copied into my clipboard. Going back to our Google Sites, I paste my code down here and I click on Next. Now we'll get a little preview of what this will look like. There we go. And these are all the latest tweets from my Twitter account. We're going to insert this and you can now rescale this as you do with everything else on Google Sites to fit and match your design. Now I'm going to make this slightly bigger. Here we go. I'm going to make it a lot bigger actually. We're going to look at the preview now. And as you can see, my upcoming page, when you scroll down now, has some information about upcoming workshops. And then I have my very large Twitter feed. Now this is obviously way too big to look good. So we're going to make that much smaller and we'll center it onto the page. Let's just center that. There we go. And we're going to look at the preview now. Now this should look a lot better. There we go. So here we have our tweets and then you can even have some extra information down the side. So in my opinion, two very powerful updates to the Google Sites platform. And as Google continues to develop this platform, even more functionality will soon become available. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, don't forget to subscribe and then you can hit the bell notification to make sure that you get notified of all new videos. I hope this was helpful and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.